Okay, this is a quick video about the ripoffs who are claiming themselves as uh, PG&E or a, probably your utility company. Basically, what I what happened is I got an automated message saying it's very important you call us regarding your PG&E account and in order to make a payment to avoid the shutoff. And so, because I do a lot of internet stuff, I have a refrigerator full of food, and um, it's basically my livelihood. I didn't realize how. Uh, how dependent it buys upon uh, PG&E uh, for my utilities. I have my phone. I don't have an analog phone anymore. It's all digital. So my phone requires PG&E as well. As you can see, I do not have a smart meter. So we have... Okay, hi. Um, so I, I'm calling regarding a, a scam that has happened to me uh, just recently. So I, I was actually two months behind in my PG&E bill. I didn't realize uh, that... Uh, uh, anyway, these uh, someone called me representing you. Okay, they represented your your company. So they called me, and so I uh, and they left a message. I was unable to um, I, I was unable to get the call immediately. It was a uh, automated voice, and they represented themselves as your company. And so basically, what I did is I called them back, and they said, okay, well, it seems that your account your year is past due, and we need to have this done immediately, or we're going to shut you off. And as a matter of fact, the truck is in your neighborhood, and if you don't come, if you don't go down and get a money pack and pay for it immediately, uh, they're going to be shutting your power off. And yeah, and so what they did is they 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 said I, I said well I can do this in like 20 minutes, and so they said okay go ahead and do it. And so I went and did it, and then it was like 499 dollars or something. And they said well the last person you spoke with made a mistake, so it's actually it's actually uh, whatever 489 so we will send you a rebate check don't worry about that so anyway they said go get another one and then pay it and you'll avoid because the truck is in your neighborhood and it's about ready to pull your meter so uh, anyway that's what happened and I have the details do you have a fraud investigation unit oh uh, sure yeah, there was actually two people I spoke to. One one was uh, Brian Lewis. His name was Brian Lewis. He's at 866-275-7859. I haven't tried to call him back. Extension 117. So, uh, yeah, I haven't tried to call him back. I've also uh, called the police and the district attorney about this as well. Uh, it was like, I think it was like, uh, I think it was Thursday or Friday. And, uh, yeah, and then I, I called you guys this morning to, uh, ask about my rebate check, and then they're like, no, we didn't, we didn't ask you about that. And so, uh, yeah, that's when I found out about this morning. Correct. Yeah, I purchased one car, and they said, well, I'm sorry, we made a mistake, so it has to be the exact amount, you know, and whatever. And then they said, oh, sorry, that, that operator gave you the wrong amount, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to, we'll have to send you a, a rebate check, and we'll send it out, like, day after tomorrow, and then you go get another one for another, like, 500 bucks. So, yeah, rip off. Remember, uh, if you want it, it's uh, incident number 19050. Six zero zero, and uh, one nine zero five zero six zero zero. So yeah, it's the last thing I I expected because I actually heard about this kind of scam before, but I thought, oh my, you know, it's like how dumb can people get? But the thing is, is like. You know, this guy left a message. I mean, it was an automated phone call. See, because I get the automated phone calls because I have a dog and I don't have a smart meter yet. So I get those automated calls saying, okay, the, the meter reader will be here and it'll make sure that the dog is going to be uh, contained. And so I get those. So I'm sort of used to those. And so that's what kind of threw me, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. You guys you usually send a couple of uh, warning uh, mails. Yeah, right. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 
picture. Is there a corporate corporate security number uh, hotline or anything? Well, I tell you, this is this is more expensive to go and go to college, but I I I sure as heck learn a lot really quick. <laughs> Uh, eight three three five zero zero seven two two six. Okay, so have you guys ever investigated anything like this and found these guys or what? Any? Uh... Okay. All right. Great. Okay. All right. Great. Sure. All right. All right. Thank you. Right, bye.